this is my savior story. Um, I became a Christian when I was little. I was um, raised in a Christian home, good God-fearing parents, and it was at a five-day club that my mom hosted in my backyard, like where college students came and taught us about God. And uh, it was on like the fourth day, June 16th, when I gave my life to Christ. One of the guys took me aside and I did the prayer. And then I had my challenges um, growing up. Uh, I went to a very judgmental church. Um, it was like homeschooled. If you weren't homeschooled, you weren't fitting in. Uh, so it was hard and I kind of lost passion. Like God was still there with me, but I didn't like going to church and it was hard. And then um, it was really, and we switched churches. And it's been a huge blessing, the church I've been to, because people reached out to me and I really understood what fellowship was and I like gained my uh, relationship with Christ back in a stronger form and it was amazing. And I was learning and I was able to apply it. And then it was really when I got into college that it got really strong because I was placed in the classrooms where, you know, we're taught all this tolerance and hard stuff that I know didn't agree with the Bible. And I wasn't afraid to stand up for what I believed in, like just big hard topics and going to school conferences and stuff that was just really hard. And then I've been really blessed in my job too. I'm a nursing assistant at a nursing home and through just, and it was amazing. I got to talk about God in my interview because God is in our values at my nursing home. And the girls that I started working with, I was able to kind of, they started getting curious about my faith and would ask me stuff. And sometimes ask me really um, challenging questions. And that would help me like learn to dive deeper in how do I share my faith. And I was blessed with one girl that we've had a lot of, you know, talks in my car after work together, me and her, and just helping her grow and want to see her get stronger. And it's amazing her growth and um, I don't know it's just I never say like my testimony is done because it's continuing to grow and like all the people I get to meet at a nursing home you know at end of stage and getting to pray with them all my elderly residents it's like I love them <laughs> I get to share God and serving others it's it's just amazing to see how when I was younger I had trouble and always being afraid of how am I going to defend my faith and then seeing where God has brought me to being able to stand up for my faith in classrooms even if I'm shaking and not even knowing where the words are coming from but they're there and then just being able to serve people in a nursing home in a helping profession and then knowing that that's where I'm going to be going into with my life in human services and wanting to just keep serving people to show God's love. It's amazing. And just to see how he's blessed me, like, I don't know, it's just, I'm excited to see where he takes me and all the things that are coming out in my life right now. Um, blessings he's given, opportunities I'm getting. I don't know, it's, it's my savior story. It's amazing. I love it and I love how it grows every day.